This video is a visual aid to help you assemble the Spico Commercial Kinetic Log Splitter. It's not meant to replace the detailed instructions in the operator's manual. So before you begin, read the assembly instructions in the manual. Here are two important notes for you and your customers. First, the splitter is intended for a single operator and two-handed use. Second, the customer must be given the operator's manual and belt tensioning gauge for future maintenance. Now let's begin. Here are the tools you'll need to assemble the log splitter. First, place the crate on level ground. Carefully remove the top and set it aside. You can also carefully remove one of the short ends for easier access. But don't dismantle or discard the rest of the crate. And make sure the long sides have not been damaged. You will use the crate later to support the splitter while you're assembling. Remove all of the contents from the crate. Now, mount the wheels on the axles, using washers and slotted nuts. With the valve stems on the outside, tighten the nut until it's firm. Then untighten about half a turn, and install the cotter pin through the top of the slotted nut and axle. Make sure the wheel spins freely. Install the metal dust cap. Next, place the axle and wheel assembly back into the crate, with the wheels nested between the two centermost wood slats. Place the block of wood provided under the engine mount to level the axle. Make sure the sides of the crate have not been damaged. Using a forklift or lifting device, safely lift the beam and align the bolt holes of the beam with the axle bolt holes. The front of the beam will extend over the side of the crate, adding stability. Insert and tighten the bolts, washers, and nuts securely. Next, install the table leg, or stand, with the decal facing out. Align the holes in the stand with the holes in the beam. Insert the pin through the top hole and secure it with the E-ring. Insert the hitch pin through the bottom hole and secure it with the R-clip. Now you can break down the crate and simply pull the splitter out. Now let's install the matching belts. Loosen the engine mount and engine tensioning bolts. Loop the two belts over the flywheel. First, put the belt closest to the engine into the V-channel on the pulley. Now, put the second belt onto the other V-channel. Now that the belts are secured, the next step is to set the belt tension to 60 pounds. Be sure that the engine stays square and aligned with the flywheel while you're adjusting the tension. Take the belt gauge that came in the crate. Use the hook to grab the belt at the midway point between the flywheel and the clutch pulley. With one steady motion, Slowly pull the belt until the hook side notches align with the top surface of the belt you're not tightening. After aligning the hook side, check the top area of the gauge. When the notches on the side handle align with the edge, the belt is in the proper tension. If the notches are not aligned, move the engine forward or backward to reduce or add tension respectively. Now you can tighten the engine bolts. Secure the top nut while tightening the bolt head. Recheck the belt to ensure it's still at the proper tension. Please note that over tightening the belts will cause premature wear and failure of the clutch assembly and may cause wear in the engine shaft. With the belts at proper tension, now install the belt guard and secure it with the bolts, washers, and nuts. The next step is the table. Slide the table into place and line it up with the square carriage bolt holes on the beam. Here's a tip. Loosely install all the bolts, flat washers, lock washers, and nuts before tightening them securely. Next is the tongue. Slide the tongue onto the front of the unit and secure it with a bolt and nut. Let's talk about the towing position and working position for a moment. To prepare the splitter for towing, pull the tongue all the way out. Pull out the R-clip from the hitch pin and swing the stand up to the tongue. Now slide the hitch pin through the holes and in the stand as indicated on the decal. Then reinsert the R-clip into the hitch pin. To return the tongue to working position, remove the R-clip and pin that are holding the stand to the tongue. Swing the stand down. Line the round hole on the stand with the corresponding round hole on the beam and reinsert the hitch pin and R-clip. Finally, slide the tongue back underneath the beam. The flywheel shield comes in halves. First, 
swing the upper support bracket to an upright position and fasten it securely with bolts and nuts. Then install one half of the shield on the opposite side of the engine and loosely insert bolts. Repeat this step with the other half and securely tighten all the bolts. The last step is to screw the control lever into position at the top of the unit. Securely lock the handle in place by tightening the locking nut on the control handle. Remember to read the operator's manual before you begin assembly. And be sure that customers get the manual and belt tensioning gauge for future maintenance. Encourage them to follow the maintenance instructions for years of peak performance. Yeah.